What up, everybody? This is your girl, July, from Kickback Couture. It is a new year, and I'm ready to dish out some new content and teach you guys some more stuff. And girls, because I'm a girl. So, today I want to talk about complex and, and specific. In particular, specifically, I want to talk about concept complex. So, let's make some 808s. Let's just do some sound design. I was going to go through an entire synth walkthrough, but... Honestly, that would be incredibly boring, and even I would fall asleep talking about it. So let's start with the 808 patch, and then from there we can build a bell or something like that. And uh, let's just get started, jump right into it. So I dropped a MIDI clip on the 808 for time's sake. I'm going to go ahead and press this button to show the cables. going to turn this down a bit. And uh, hopefully you're using headphones or monitors that have a good bass response. All right, so here we see what's already connected. Um, we have oscillator one and oscillator two going into the output mixer together. So they can go out separate here out one and here out two. And this is for oscillator one, of course, and this is for oscillator two. This mix is going to be a mix of both of them, but currently it is all the way to the right, which means we will only hear oscillator two and not both of them. So I'm going to drop the pitch. And let's just listen to this one. Okay. And let's drop the pitch on this as well. Keep it at about 50% right about now. And um, the ADSR, which is the attack, delay, sustain, and release, is already connected. Here we see volume and the envelope is going directly here. The gate and the trigger is already connected automatically, as well as... Um, keyboard tracking which is here pitch to keyboard so I'm going to turn down the sustain we don't need sustain in our 808 and our attack if we turn it all the way down we'll hear that pop sound so we want to turn it up enough so that we don't hear that Gonna keep some release or else we'll get a pop as well. Depends on how much release you like. This is all preferential, if that's how you say it. All right, cool. So let's look into the different options we have in order to make this 808 more unique and not just the use of an oscillator in an ADSR setting. So we have a shaper here with different types of distortion. We have f filters here, high and low pass. We got a comb delay, LFO. We have these, this mix, we can add some noise, but I'm gonna keep it simple since we're making an 808 and maybe for the bells we'll go more in depth with some things some other things other modules so i'm going to take this mix and put it into the audio in of the shaper and then put it back out into the mixer so remember everything that you change whatever you you put in it needs to go back out so before the oscillator was going straight into the output mixer i changed that i put the oscillator mix into the shaper in and then I took the out of the shaper and put it into the mixer. So still hearing a little pop now. Better. All right, let's listen to the different distortions.
Pick up glitch. Sounds dope. So I really like all of them, but, but I'm gonna go with saturate here. Keep the symmetry knob up the middle. Alright, cool. Uh, let's say I want to take out some of the high end without an external filter. Just going to connect this here. And then I'm going to use the low pass and send that into the out. And then here's the frequency. And we can also move these cables out of the way so that we can see. And we can increase the drive. We don't want it that loud. I don't want it that loud. Drive wise. Not that intense. And we have a resonance knob here. If we wanted to increase the resonance, I don't in this case. So honestly, here we have a basic 808. We don't we don't even have to do much. It's already dope. I do wanna add in a third oscillator though, so I'm gonna use oscillator three here. And I'm going to connect this pitch up here to key one. So it's going to be key tracked. And then I'm going to take this out, oscillator two. And I'm going to put it into this mix area. And then before I finish that, I'm going to take... So I have this going into the shaper. So I'm going to take this and put it here as well and then put this into the shaper. So what I did was I disconnected the two oscillators here, this duo, and I connected it into the mix area. And what this does is it combines signals. So I took oscillator one and two, which is combined here in this output. And then I took oscillator three, which has a single output here, and I combined them. So they are now both a part of this one signal. So I can change the mix amount here. So let's go ahead and drop the pitch on oscillator three. Whoops. And we can see the shape curve here. And I just want to play with lowering the pitch. Okay, I think that's a good spot right there. Yes. Awesome. So I'm going to check that out on my headphones, see how I like it, and I will be right back. I mean, my stereo monitors. All right, everything sounds great. The only thing I did was bring the attack down just a little bit. So my attack is now at... Whoops. Attack is now at... Come on, tool tip. I think it's at about like 0.4 something. Um, yeah, 4.35 milliseconds, not 0.4. All right, cool. So that is how I make my 808. So I'm going to create another instance of complex and um, propeller head software complex one modular synth. So now I'm going to create a bell. So looks like we are in uh, C sharp scale Phrygian. C sharp Phrygian. So I'm going to create a quick bell pattern and uh, I'll be right back. All right, awesome. I am back. I have programmed a quick little MIDI pattern for a bell that I'm going to create. And the first thing I'm going to do is turn down the volume so we're not piercing anyone's ears because complex can get incredibly loud when you are switching around cables. So I like this cable view. 
you can also use the windows to select but i prefer to just patch things i feel like it's quicker than going through the menus but if for some reason you don't know where something is then uh, you can definitely use that so first thing i want to do a bell curve is uh no sustain gonna keep the attack where it's at bring down the k the release should be fine and let's see what we have so far down the 808 volume a little bit just for reference reasons if we we're creating a track just have both of them playing for now but um i will solo this by itself so we can see what's going on awesome so just listening uh one thing i would like to do is Change the pitch of the second oscillator. I'm going to go up to 7 here. Maybe a whole octave. Okay, perfect. I like how that sounds. Cool. And once again, I have both oscillators coming into this input right here and the output mixer. So this is this right here, this mix. What What is it called? Um, not, not a plug. Uh, geez. Whatever. The mix cable is going to the output mixer. The word just escapes my mind, but instead of going straight there, I am going to come into the shaper and then I'm going to go back to the output mixer. Pick up. Let's go glitch. Like how that sounds. Now I'm going to go into the comb delay come back out into the filter and I think it's important to go one module at a time so you can hear what each module is doing individually And now we hear that as a high ring above the original sound. And we can change that with the pitch here. Gonna keep it like that. Following that, I'm gonna go into the filter. I'm going to use the I'm going to use the high pass setting here because uh, usually when I'm creating a beat, I like to leave the low frequencies for the drum and bass. Drums and bass. So all the way up, of course, we don't hear anything. Not much, at least. And we can even pull this up to view the frequencies if we need to see what's there and what's not. And we're actually pretty good here, so we don't have to do much cutting. We can turn up the resonance. If we would like to, drive. We can even add in a third oscillator. So, like we did before, just to show you everything that we can utilize. But in this case, I want to add some noise. Since we use a third oscillator with an 808, I just want to show you how you can add noise. So you can add red noise, blue, resonant, band, static, binary, buffer. You can also add white noise, which has a separate output here. Ultimately, I want to show you the variety you have with the different noise types. So let's listen to what this sounds like.
red noise. And let's go ahead and disconnect the oscillator so we can hear what's going on. And we can connect this to uh, the keyboard tracking so that we can hear pitch changes. So that's going to be with this knob here, noise color amount. And uh, I'll just drag it up here. Um, I had turned these up, but it's going to be this right here. So. so this is a very low C, and this is a high C. Uh, I believe I can't see the keys because I have the cover on it, but um, we can change it to band as well, and that's more clear for us uh, with the addition of the column delay affecting the signal as well. So let's go ahead and take this and put it back here and listen to what we have. I want to change the shape a bit on the second oscillator. And I like what we have so far. So what's important to note about complex is that it has its own uh, reverb module. And that is the only um, only module that you get aside from the shaper. Of course, the delay is here. That doesn't look like one of these modules. So it's down here in this section. And you have spring 1, spring 2, room hall, echo 1, and echo 2. I'm going to go with... The first one and just turn it on and see what it sounds like. So this is a plug sound in essence. Room. Hall. Echoes like a delay. We have this decay setting in the level. So this is like the rate for the delay in a sense when we're using echo. All right, so this is a bell using the complex oscillator, which is one and two in combination. Uh, noise, shaper, the mix, comb delay, filter, of course the output mixer and we change the ADSR settings and use some reverb so I didn't like I said I didn't want to do a traditional synth breakdown because that would put me to sleep and even sometimes sound design tutorials like this are boring if you're not following along so if you like this video give it a like comment subscribe and most definitely let me know what you would like to see next it's all culture Kick back, cook up, happy new year. I hope your goals are as great as your potential. It's all culture. I'm gonna finish this beat now.